sweetie pie and welcome back to my channel today will be the first day of my new lights I know this is probably different I don't know exactly what this even looks like because this is the first time that I'm filming with them so yeah it's a process and they are so close to me but they're really not that bright so yeah hopefully this works out and I am so excited and hopefully no more wrinkly backgrounds so yeah stay tuned for that today we are doing Doing an old-fashioned kind of just declutter I have so many lipsticks here I have 350 I think is what I counted and I know there's more in my bag and I'm gonna go get those as well I have most of them kind of organized and I'm just gonna take you along and I am gonna show you all the ones that I am throwing away we'll do some swatching and yeah then I will maybe do like a fast track of me putting them back into my acrylic organizers so if you're interested in that then stay tuned yeah subscribe obviously and uh, let's get into this declutter I'm all excited. right guys it's so little back story I have both of my lights shining on the table because it is so so dark out right now but these are all my lipsticks <laughs> um, I'm guessing there's probably 300 lipsticks here, but we're going to see. I am not throwing out a lot of these just to just to make sure. And I have kind of categorized them a little bit. Pretty much all of these I want to give away, but I'm pretty sure there's probably more in here that I don't really want that I just don't see. So we're going to go through all of this. I have like reds here, pinks neutrals and lip glosses and neutral lip glosses a little bit of purple some crazy colors let's just go through this first I, I guess I'll just literally start with the ones that I'm throwing away and I'm just gonna go through quickly and tell you why a little bit because it would be 40 years long if I explained every single one I'm probably going to go through and put everything into my organizers um, but I'll do that in like fast mode. I think that's, oh, I absolutely love uh, Shannon XO. The, oh, I love that. So yeah, I wanna kinda try a little bit of that in my video today. So yeah, guys, let's get into this. Um, I'm going to try, cause there are a few that I'm like throwing out the whole kind of kit and caboodle, all of the brand that I have. These Mariposa lip, like some of them are lip glosses and some of them are ooh, ah, liquid lipsticks. Uh, they are from Dollar, Dollar Tree. I have quite a few of them. Uh, they've been around for a while, probably a good year or two. Every time I see like different liquid lipstick formulas from the dollar store, it just intrigues me. And I love like comparing ingredients to what like, you know, all the high end brands that I have. Anyway, there is so many here. Um, this color I love, love, love. Let's just let's just do a little switcheroo. Oh gosh, you know you've had something a long time when there's a cat hair that comes off the applicator. Yeah. Whoop! Of course. There is the shade, like so pretty. It's just like a super, super pretty nude, but they're just, they're old. They're from the dollar store, so you really want to be careful. And yeah, I'm just done with them. Oh, there's another one here and another one here. And I'm just looking around to make sure that I grabbed all of them. If we find some more, I will, you know, dispose. But yes, there is a ton of them, but and these ones are lip glosses and I love here. Those are going in the bad bin. This is so pretty. It is the Mariposa lip gloss and oh, they're so pigmented and they're like a dollar. So good, such a good deal, but they've been in my collection forever. I have an elf, an elf lipstick here. This one is in Posh. I like this color and everything. It's just, I have so many and it's not that pigmented. So I'm going to, and the packaging is absolutely atrocious. I have a Ciate London. I cannot remember. Oh, this is in Head Over Heels. I got this like two years ago. It's completely worn off. I love their applicator. This is like a soft matte formula. This was a beautiful color. It's just, it's old. 
eyes old. It's gross. Coastal Scents lipstick in 08. This had no pigment. It just, it ran everywhere. But it was so pretty. Like, the bullet is actually really pretty. It's just my lips. My lips do not handle those. Uh, next is a Kat Von D lipstick. This is it, her Mini in Damned. I didn't like this lipstick. Uh, I, it was just patchy. Ooh, it does look... No, see? You can kind of see through it. And yeah, it just was really patchy, and I've had it for a long time. I've tried to wear it a few times. Same thing with these Wet n Wild lipsticks. These are too neon. They just... They're just too neon. This one is in Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. This is one that's really pretty. Then I have What's Up Doc. This is like an insanely unpigmented coral. This is, what is this one? 15 minutes a tame, a fame, a flame. Let's put this one here. So yeah, I'm just not into it that much. This one, though, I did get quite a bit of use out of. This is like a duochrome lipstick. Let's see if I can show you that. Super shimmery. Another thing that I am getting rid of are these Mariposa metallic lip glosses. Same thing. They are from the dollar store. The dollar store, like Dollar Tree Eye go to I hail from <laughs> uh, like a ton a ton of Mariposa brand and these are actually really pretty like there's let's see what this one looks like oh that's not that see these are pretty I just do not need them in my they're right here like minus the purple one super pretty shine but yeah, they're all going. They've just been in my collection too long. Uh, same thing as this uh, melted latex from Too Faced. I just don't like the formula. Uh, it's Maybe it's not the formula. Maybe it's the color. Maybe it's too dark. I don't know. I just don't like it. So that is on its way out. Uh, same thing. Revlon Color Stay. This is in the shade, ooh, Ingenue. Ingenue. Oh, gosh, the lid there. It's one of those big bullets and too creamy for a big, big bullet like that. Uh, this e.l.f. lip lacquer, although it's actually quite nice, this one's in natural. I just, I don't know. I've had it for too long. It's messy. It's gross. These are the Clean Color Kiss Keeps. I got these off of Shop Miss A. The smell is atrocious. So I threw out some of the ones I had and I just kept this purple because it is insanely crazily purple. But honestly, it's just going to. The smell is just too bearable to, unbearable to wear. Uh, this is a Revlon lipstick in uh, Pearl. And I just, it's like what your Nana would wear kind of thing. And I'm just not like that into it anymore. And I don't know if I could actually go through these and pick out the ones that are just old and throw them out and give some away, but I don't know. We'll see. These CoverGirl lipsticks, although the, the liquid lipstick formula was like one of the very first, I think, that came out on the market, and they have like a balm with them, these I've had for like five years, and they need to go. Like this one, literally, I don't know where it was, but it is completely yellowed. So these need to go. I'm going to throw out the balm. Obviously, they're old and just... All right, so we've got a few more Mariposa brand lipsticks. I'm also going to toss these because all of these, I haven't bought lipsticks from Dollar Tree in a while. Uh, this is the Essence Vibrant Shock Lip Paint. I actually didn't buy this too long ago. Oh gosh, do I toss this? It, look at how amazing that is. I don't wear this. I tend to wear the blue one in videos a lot more often. And Honest Engine 
the smell on these isn't that great. Yeah, it's like overly chemically sweet. Very kind of weird. I don't know. Do I keep them? You know what? We're going to put these off to the side. Like, look at the pigment on this one. I wore this in one of my videos not too long ago. Look at it. It's like a teal, dark teal. Oh, so freaking pretty. Um, I'm going to put them off to the side. I'll see if I have room when I put them all back into my acrylics. We'll see. Um, this one, though, is definitely leaving. It's not that it's bad or anything. I actually love these lip glosses from Flower Beauty. Um, do they have an actual name? Shine On. And this is in My Little Butter Buttercup. This one is like a darker brown shade. And there's no glitter in it or anything. It's just a sheer gloss. But I have a lighter one that I like a lot more. This one just sits in my collection. So I'm saying ta-ta to do that one. And holy, okay. So those are all the ones that I knew I was getting rid of. Now let's dive in to this madness. So I do have them somewhat done by color. Obviously, nudes take over my life. I have some reds right here, and we're just going to kind of quick draw. I don't plan to get rid of a whole ton of stuff, but I'm going to, you know, like swatch and see what I feel like I want to get rid of. I'm not going to separate them by brand in my collection. I'm going to do it by shade just because that is so much easier. And then the nudes, which obviously have a huge section, are going to get their own acrylic organizer where it's going to be lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, and then actual lipsticks. Obviously, girls got a lot of nudes. So yeah, let's go through. I've got all, well, seemingly most of my reds, and then I think I have some oranges over here. This is a purple. Okay, so we're going to start with reds. I have two of these Wonder Cushion Matte Lip Creams from Sephora. One is also right here, and I do want to keep them. They are about a year old, but, like, these colors are so cool looking. And it's kind of like a stain. Now, although, choo, get over here. There isn't much difference between this and this. Hmm. We'll keep that in mind. But I'm definitely going to keep both of these. So I am going to just throw one in here. And we will separate the reds up here. And then we will, yeah, we'll just throw all those in there. Now I have two reds from ColourPop. One is a matte X. Oh no, both of them are matte X lipsticks. This one's in Lullaby and this one's Fly Fi. And this one is like an orange. I really like this. I think this is super pretty and I do love their formula. Super smooth. I am definitely keeping all my ColourPop. I'm just gonna, ooh, this one's a nude. This is definitely not a red. So this is gonna go in the nude pile over here. Although the stamp looks super, super red, when you swatch it, not quite as red, right? Anyway, so Lullaby is also there and it is like an orange of all oranges. I love this, super pretty. Reds are going up there. This one is a pretty new one in my collection. It is the Physician's Formula in the color Fight Free Reticles. I have a bunch of these in here. I'm keeping all of them. It's just a standard. This is kind of a blue red. Their applicator is really cool. It's got like a well. I don't plan on swatching all of them, but like that is a pretty red. So yeah, I'm going to keep most of these, if not all of them, but I want to separate them and get some sequence in my life. Next, we have a little Sephora mini. This is in the color, ooh, what is the color? R49? Yeah, I guess so. And it is a red. I don't have much left of this. I'd kind of like to project pan these some of these little lipsticks, but I'm going to keep it for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to like keep all of them in the future. This is a ColourPop lipstick. 
little mini in prim and it is their satin formula i love their satin formula i am probably going to keep most of these because i've only had them for six months probably i don't know this is an aoa studios lipstick i love keeping this because this formula is beautiful like absolutely gorgeous and it's a dollar at shop masse definitely try and check those out if you can uh this one oh gosh you know what i think i'm gonna get rid of this one this is the Katy perry covergirl oh gosh it's in crimson cat let's just swatch this oh so pretty though you know what screw it i'm keeping it end of story next is the matte 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 lipstick from essence beautiful red these are super matte though oh that's like super <laughs> let's swatch most of the reds and see how similar they are i'm going to be keeping that one obviously Ooh, this one i love this is the anastasia beverly hills in Sa or seraphine yeah seraphine this is a beautiful like true red sorry i totally swatched that on a weird place on my arm oh look at that it's such a true red i'm gonna go up my arm because that's just a smarter idea and let's see oh that's kind of a nude i have a flower beauty lipstick this is my only flower in cactus flower i love like mixing a kind of whiter lipstick with this because it's a true orange and I like the formula of this. It's really pretty. I haven't had it for that long. Psych. I think this is, well, I guess it is kind of orange, but it's more nude. Yeah, this is a nude. But I'm definitely keeping this. This is in Psych. I have an e.l.f. lipstick. Hmm. You know what? I've had this for quite some time. This is the e.l.f. lipstick in Ruby Red. And it's like more of a blue-toned red yeah you know what i'm gonna get rid of this one this one is so cool this is the Phys physician's formula again and it's red restorative effects it's kind of like a red orange Let's see if i can swatch it oh look at that it's like a brown red super cool looking where are we right here Kind of looks like a regular red in camera, but I assure you. Then I have this tiny little Tom Ford in True Coral. This is so ridiculous. Like, the packaging is adorable, and the color is a little bit muted, but it's like a peach. Like, it's a, like a, a, not even a peach. It's like a literal coral. Like, it's so pretty. Adorable. I'm obviously keeping it. Like, come on. And then we have one last Physician's Formula, which I don't know. This is maybe like a uh what would you describe this as like peach anyway tulip treatments is the shade and ooh, i love that formula it's so pretty so yeah that is the shade and that is all of the reds or so i i think I'm just gonna move over here because I have such a tiny purple collection. From what I can see, I'm sure there's a lot of nudes that kind of like go on the purpley side, but as for actual lipsticks, these are pretty much the only purple ones I have. I have this one from Bite. This is the color Aubergine. And it looks like this. I'm going to keep this, although next declutter i may have to get rid of this because let's be honest here i've had that for a while this is the s oh no that should be in nudes now this is pretty noon this is in griselda this is the mademoiselle um you know the fenty ones this is really beautiful but i kind of don't like the bullet lipstick i don't mind because it's a mini but i'd like to see how big the actual bullet lipsticks are because I don't mind the formula. It's a matte formula. It's kind of pretty and nice, but yeah, I need to learn more about that formula because the bullet lipstick, same thing with this one. I love the shade, but the bullet lipstick throws me off. This is the Revlon, Revlon Ultra HD gel lip color. Super pretty lip color. It is like a straight up purple. I love it. I'm keeping it. It's only like two months old in my collection. Then I have a little Anastasia lipstick. This came in a set. This one is in Plumber, Plum, Plumeria, Plumeria. Huh. Okay. 
And again, like these are super matte. I don't really like this formula that much to be perfectly honest. It's super matte, like it, it, it's super matte. But the colors are pretty and I'm gonna keep them in my collection for a while, even if it's just like for a bit. This one I think I'm going to toss actually. This is the Mariposa Matte Lipstick. Again, this one's in a bright purple and although like the pigmentation and everything is great, you know what, maybe I will keep that one. I haven't had it for that long, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna keep just this one, just because look at that. Like, who wants to toss that? That would look beautiful in a video. Anyway, I also have a Laura Mercier lipstick in an affair. Looks like this. And it's just like a pretty berry plum shade. Then I have, oh, this is a nude. It must have got last. Then I have this one. This is the Sephora Lip Stories in Off Limits. And I don't mind this, like, this uh, formula in their lipsticks. I do not like their shimmers, though, at all. And this is like a straight up purple mauve shade. All right. I see a few more kind of purples sticking out of the ashes <laughs> and a lot of nudes. Oh my goodness, Melissa, you're ridiculous. This is a pink and these are nudes. Okay, so a couple more purples. That's a nude. This is kind of a purple, honestly. It's very nude and I think I'm going to put it in the nude. Oh no! These are so creamy. Okay. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. Don't worry, this is a makeup blanket. I will tell you in a minute. Oh, let's not wreck that. I don't know, maybe it's the lights that are hot. They are a little warm. Anyway, I am keeping this. I'm gonna try and not ruin it and get it out of this heat. It's just a sheer kind of mauve shade. Ooh, it is like really, really getting there. These are really new to me. This is the Velvet Mousse from Hard Candy. There is no name. I have a few of them, a few of them in my collection from Christmas packs this past year. It's an okay formula. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. I wanna try them for a little bit. Next, I have more of a pink shade actually, and this is Magentile Formula from Physician's Formula. This is very pink, but a little bit of purple in there. This is the matte, matte, matte lipstick from Essence. This is like very mauve-y. And then this one is another physician's formula. This one is in Vitamin Beat. Ooh, that's pretty. Definitely keeping that. So I've got some odd, like some odd liquid lipsticks is what I would call them. And they're ones that I don't wear on like an everyday basis. They are more for like videos and photos and all that kind of stuff. There are a couple here that I would definitely use, but most of them are colorful. I want to keep all of them. I think, and I think, yeah, I think I'm keeping all of them. I have the Essence Hollow Woe Lip Glosses. These are so pretty. They're absolutely gorgeous. But I think I'm going to try and get like a little area for these types of lipsticks to hang out in because I also have the Lime Crime Diamond Crusher. This one is in, what is this one in? Cleopatra. This is so pretty, but it's like a liquid lipstick. Let's just swatch this one. Why not? It's very liquid lipsticky, but it is full of shimmer. I love it, but it's kind of the same thing, although it's not. Then I also have the Too Faced Melted Metallic. This is a liquid lipstick as well, but it is a duochrome liquid lipstick. I did an entire video on this, so you can definitely go check that out on my channel if you want. I'm keeping all of these. I probably don't need to, and I probably am going to have to put them in a completely different area as well as these, but I'm not, I'm not giving them up, I'm not. 
Anyway, I have a few of the Smashbox. These are their B Legendary Liquid Lipsticks. I have this one in Iced Out, and then I have Crimson, and then I have Foiled Brat. I got a Vault last year. I'm not ready to give these up. There are like a few, like this blue one, obviously, that I do not wear that much, but I'll probably keep these for quite some time. But they are also, obviously, these shades, at least, are going into that kind of, that range. The next thing I have is some of the AOA Studios liquid lipsticks, and then, ooh, this one is a ColourPop liquid lipstick as well. I love these. I love these shades. I've worn them quite a lot in videos and whatnot to the point where, like, they've been bent up. And then this one by ColourPop, it's in sandwiches. Like, I've worn this, oh, so much there's a cat hair in it. Why wouldn't there be? It's just so pretty. Like, look at that. It's like a metallic pink. It looks so striking. I love it. I can't give these up yet. They're probably, like, especially the AOA ones are probably, like, past. Digital and Solo. Solo is that, like, green one, and Digital is the purple. But I just like them. I like them, and they keep me happy, and I enjoy them. So there. Then I have two liquid lipsticks from... Wet n Wild. These are their liquid cat suits. I have this metallic, which is in Red Redlings, and it is part of their like Fire and Ice collection. Super pretty. I was actually wearing it today for my intro and outro to this video. And then I also have this one, which is in Emerald Envy. So pretty, but so not like wearable. It's just. It's got this like super beautiful emerald green flash of gold. It's hard to do it in the camera, but it's, it's very pretty. I'm definitely keeping them both. I am not actually the biggest fan of the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Last, what are they? Liquid cat suits. I don't know. I'm just not into them as much. I like this bullet better than I like the liquid lipsticks. This is just their Mega Last lip color. This one's in London Skies. It's a gray lipstick. It it was part of their like Halloween collection one year and they do so many different Halloween collections. I love it because you can pick up these really interesting shades for super cheap and you don't have to pay an arm and a leg. Like this Too Faced one that I probably will never finish was like $25. So definitely think cheap when you're going for those types of things. Let's get into it. Okay, I've got pinks over here. I'm trying to separate them from like the ones that look nude. What is this one? No, that's, oh, definitely nude. Okay, so we've got nudes and like peachy and like lip glosses and that kind of stuff. Oh, I also have another one of those Hello Woes, but this one's like a, you know, like a, a white transparent pinky one. So I can wear it on a more everyday basis. Now, pinks are not something that I wear a whole ton of. I don't have a ton of them. Most of them are very nudie. Oh, those are definitely nudes. So when we go through here, there may be some nudes mixed in here, but I will pick out most of the ones that I know are very pink. The Anastasia Beverly Hills set I got, this one in Orchid is very pink. And of course, what would we do without a cat hair? What would we do without a cat hair? So yeah, we've got that one. And as I said before, they're just super matte. They're super, super, super matte. This was an all pink set. I wish they had a nude set. This one in Cotton Candy and then there's Stargazer. Cotton Candy is literally like a bubblegum pink. Looks really stark on me. I definitely need a darker lip liner. And then we have Stargazer, which I love. I love those really stark shades. They just, I don't know, they make me happy. I'm keeping all of them, of course. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> But yeah, then I have a less pinky one. This was in Dose of Rose, and it's the Physician's Formula shade. Very pretty. Gonna keep that one. Then I have the ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is their Matte in Persuasion. This is more of a mauve pink, I think. Ooh, push that down. Who else get, got anxiety from that? Yeah, this is more mauve -y. I'm gonna stick these in with the mauve ones. I have two of the Bite Sticks. This one is in... Chablis, Chablis, Chiblis, and then I have Rhubarb. Yeah, they're high pigment lip pencils. Oh, I'm running out of space. There's that one. 
and I think this one's more mauve-y. They're really nude, honestly. That is a little more mauve-y. But they are both pretty darn nude, so I'm going to throw them in the nude pile. Then I have this little bite. This is their liquefied lipsticks. I love it, but I don't love the smell. Like, I don't adore the smell, but I love the color. The color is pretty as heck, so I will put up with the smell. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some more liquid velvets. I'm going to start going through these a little bit more fast because it's taking up a lot of time. But yeah, the vel vel Velvet Mousse from Hard Candy. This one is really light, but it's beautiful for mixing, so I'm going to keep it. I just got them not too long ago. I have a few ColourPop sample ones. Going to keep both of them. This one is in an Ultra Satin, and this, oh, also oh, an Ultra Satin. Li uh, London Fog and dopey and oh this one is really red i'm gonna put that one up with the reds another physician's formula this is in berry healthy i swatched all of these on my channel uh another essence one a very like pinky matte color super pretty two more oh three more essence these two are getting older i know that for sure oh I'm going to keep them for now, but that's definitely something I'm going to have to think about. And then I have this one. I got these as a Christmas set. These are so pretty. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love their liquid lipsticks. This one is in Dazed. Super pretty. This one is, oh, so pretty. I have to, so pretty. I love that shade. And right after I'm done this, I think I'm going to take a break and wipe all this off my hand so that we can start anew. This one is, oh, more nude, but kind of pink. This is the Kiss Kiss Bang Bang lipstick from Marc Jacobs in a mini. Definitely going to keep this. Maybe I can pan it. Uh, Physician's Formula, again, Coral Minerals. A NARS lipstick. This one is in Let's Go Crazy. I'm pretty sure this is like a super pink. Yes, it is a super pink. Then we have another one from Laura Mercier, a very nudie kind of pink. Another one from Marc Jacobs. This one's in Slow Burn, a very nude color. I like all of these. Their formula is really good, actually. Then we have uh, Little Things. It's a cream from the Lippy Sticks from ColourPop. Ooh, this one I remember, yes, very pretty nude. Come over here, lid, and I love how slim, like I do not like bullet lipsticks, but this is super slim, so I can get a precise line. Those other ones are not slim, but let's be honest here, they're not. I also just got, this is their, oh, what is this? It's some luxury brand, I know that for sure. Oh, tell me what this is, Gimashi? I just got it as a sample at Sephora. Made in France. Oh, tell me what the emblem is. I know everybody knows this. I'm, oh, it could be Armani. But I haven't really tried it that much. It's a very, like, pinky nude. And then we have one last one, which is a very nude bite lipstick. This one's in Honeycomb. Everybody loves this. But I see it, it's, it is a little light. I think I would try to get a little bit darker of a lip liner for that to work for me. But yeah, guys, now we just have the, the huge mess we have here with nudes. So let's get into this. I'm going to wash my hand. All right, after a short commercial break, which was really short for you, I have pretty much got everything off my arms. I'm gonna have to go for a shower for sure. I, excuse me for my terrible nails. I burnt my, oh, you see that? I burnt myself on a toaster last night at work and it was lovely. Anyway, now we have the nudes. I'm probably gonna keep most of these. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> But let's just go through them. So I've got a couple of these Smashbox. Let's just, ooh, don't fall. Oh, this is a red. Fly Fi by ColourPop. It's a red. Let's put that in the red. Anyway, then I have like a Laura Mercier. This is not a red 
but it's oh this is a very sheer one so this is definitely going to be put in like a different category damask very pretty but i'd like to keep that separate then we have a bunch of lip glosses that are <laughs> oh goodness melissa that are shimmery let's see more shimmer more shimmer more shimmer so many shimmery lip glosses like take your pick take your choose the one that i oh this is a liquid lipstick it's one of the milani um chromatic addict is the shade you gotta shake it up it gets a little bit separated but it's so pretty i wonder if should i put that no i'm not gonna put that over there because it's so mild i can wear it for every day so tons of lip glosses going to keep all of these except you know what i may just take this glitterati one is not that good from hard candy it's kind of weird and chunky so i'm gonna toss that one away the smashbox one is old you know what this smashbox one is pretty old as well i never use it i'm going to get that one out of here too the rest of them i'm keeping i have some jouet i have some artist couture i have physicians formula anastasia laura mercier and Marc jacobs so many gonna keep them all gonna catch them all pokemon <laughs> where am i putting these okay so i'm just gonna dump out the container of ones that i'm not keeping and put the shimmery lip glosses right against the wall there this is a shimmery liquid lipstick but it's in a very wearable kind of pinky and i'd like to keep it so i'm going to keep it in there as well then i have all my nude lip glosses which just give me half a second i'm sure there's more <laughs> i'm just looking through no that's a lipstick 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 Ooh, another shimmery lip gloss that i love this is orgasm by nars oh this is so dirty it's in my purse all the time but it's got so much in my hands right now it is so pretty it's just such a nude lip gloss can go over top of like anything but it is also going to go in there then i have all of these nude lip glosses i think this is all of them nope this one is nope this one Oh, here's another sparkly lip gloss. This is the Smashbox uh, Be Legendary Petal Metal. Love this one going in there as well. And, oh, another. Okay, these ones I'm going to put in the lipstick category. These are, again, the Smashbox ones, but they're very pigmented. So they're going to go kind of tucked over in the lipstick category because they're not liquid lipsticks but they're definitely not lip glosses because I would never wear that like on top of something anyway here they all are there is a bunch of hard candy these are their cashmere silks so pretty so pretty and then I have like an older buxom one this one I need to give away soon or throw away give away oh gosh no I'm not giving any of these away I don't think because I just don't think that's really hygienic this one's in white Russian it's like a cult classic I have kept it because of that this is an essence one I really love that I have no like there's nothing on it I have the flower beauty one I was talking about this is the lighter one in nectar then I have a little Smashbox mini and another Smashbox Be Legendary. This one is in Bad B. All right, now we're going to go liquid lipsticks and we're going to go lightest to darkest, hopefully. So let's just, I'm going to start picking out some ones that I know are light.
two different ways I put away my lipsticks, so to speak. I have this container here, which I wish was see-through and I wish was a, an acrylic, acrylic organizer, but it's just got, become so much in my collection that I have to put things in different spots. Then I actually have another smaller acrylic or organizer that is actually acrylic. This one's older. It's not quite as nice as my newer ones, but I'm definitely going to use it because I am going to need the space for sure. Then my PS de Resistance, the ones that I love are these acrylic organizers that you can actually get from Walmart. I have two of these. I love these because you can see through them. They're beautiful. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start with nudes in these and these are going to house all of my nudes because that's what I use the most. So here we go. I'm going to take lip glosses and all that stuff and I'm going to try and fit them, you know, and see how it goes. And yeah, we're just gonna see what's gonna be best here. guys well we're just about finished I'm going to put my red lipsticks in my little whoa, vault here <laughs> and usually I just pull out the drawer you can't even see it it's so tall and yeah let's just separate these out so we've got liquid lipsticks and then of course we've got non-liquid lipsticks Alright guys, well this is actually, and yes, it's a mini fridge, it's in our bedroom and this is where I store my lipsticks. So this is what it looks like when it's all done and this is what I am getting rid of. There are 32 lipsticks I'm getting rid of and there are 136 lipsticks in my thing. So not as much as I thought actually. That's only at like 200-ish lipsticks altogether. But I'm really happy with what I am getting rid of and I'm happy with what I'm keeping. I do wanna get like three more of these and replace this and replace this, but that's not happening right now. 
because I just bought a whole light setup. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, let's go to Outro Melissa. Thanks Mwah. guys so much for watching my declutter. I hope it was amazing. I'm actually filming this before I do the declutter, so I hope it was amazing. And yeah, uh God, I'm so excited about these lights. Wow, my uh, cheeks look so highlighted. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these lights and I hope it was better. I don't see any shadows really, which is awesome. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video to, you know, uh, try out the new lights and see how they worked and, you know, see how they work for products and stuff like that. And yeah. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, have a really wonderful day, night, evening, whatever. Bye.